What is up, guys? It is Baseball Nerd back with another predictions rankings video. The last of our sections for a baseball team going into the bullpens of all the MLB teams and ranking the top 12, throwing in some honorable mentions. If you haven't seen the last couple videos, please check them out. But um, basically, I went off of um, cumulative war for these teams in their sections in the outfield, adding all them up, adding up their infield, looking at the starting pitchers and their relief pitchers. So this took a lot of time. If you don't like the predictions, you can let me know. It's totally cool. I appreciate you just watching the video. This is my best shot at it. So we will go into the top 12 for bullpens, looking at the 2020 um, bullpens and ranking them going into 2021. Obviously, free agents, I don't know where they're going yet. And so I kind of based this off of teams keeping their, their bullpen pieces off of their... Um, so yeah, that's kind of uh, how I, I based it off of and that's how we got down to this top 12. And so we're going to start off with honorable mentions. Honorable mentions I have just based off of war pretty much. This one I didn't put as much thought into who's coming back or stuff like that. But we have the Cleveland Indians, the Cincinnati Reds, and the Houston Astros. I'm kind of lumping them all together. Bullpens were the hardest ones for me to kind of get the wars added up and figuring out who I think was going to be in the top 12. I didn't really pay attention. I don't know as many bullpen guys in all these teams. I know the infields. I know the outfields. I know at least the top half of most starting rotations. I don't know as many bullpen pieces on the people that aren't on the teams that aren't in the top 10 at least. So Houston, Cleveland, Cincinnati, if that's your team, honorable mention. Don't know really who you guys got in there besides Osuna and some of the guys, you know, Brad Hand in Cleveland if they keep him. Cincy, I love Amir Gary. I don't really know who, uh, Archie Bradley as well. Um, so I know they got some guys. I don't know how great they did, but off of war, they should be middle of the pack. So I gave them middle of the pack. Uh, moving into our top 12, Toronto Blue Jays who I realized had the top six war. I couldn't give them top six because I just don't know enough guys in that bullpen to do that and uh, feel okay with my rankings. But I know they have Ken Giles. Uh, I know he was hurt a lot last year because I had him on my fantasy team. But Ken Giles, I know he could top out that bullpen. They must have some other guys in there if they had a top six war. I don't know. But I give them the 12 spot because I feel like top six war, I can't I can't put them lower than 12 and uh, feel good about it. So moving in, we got number 11, New York Mets. I know they have Dylan Betances. I know they have um, Seth Lugo, Familia, some guys in that bullpen that could be really, really nasty. And um, yeah, like I said, it's all roughly based off war. So I think they had a pretty good war and um, they got some big names that could come back and help them out. Number 10, we got the St. Louis Cardinals. And this team could actually probably be a little higher in this list. I just know they had a lot of guys hurt last year or a lot of guys under. So for the Cardinals, I know that they will get back Giovanni Gallagos and they will get... Um, not get back, but you have him, Jordan Hicks, Andrew Miller. They have some really good guys out there in that bullpen. And um, more than just that, but they have some really good pieces. And I think if they come back, they didn't have a great year this year. I don't even think they made the top 10 in the wars. But I put them in the top 10 because I know the names they have. And I know some of the guys they have coming back and the guys that can step up. And I think they will have a very good bullpen 2021. Moving on to number nine, we have the Atlanta Braves. And um, this was honestly surprising, but they had the best war at any bullpen going in. Um, at the end of 2020, I know they had Mark Melanson, um, Shane Green, some other good guys coming out of that bullpen. But, uh, yeah, I had to move them down a little bit just because I feel like some of these other bullpens are nasty, getting guys back, or just um, felt like when you watched them, they had better bullpens than this team. So that's why I have the Braves down there. Number eight, Chicago White Sox. Another very good war. I don't need to keep saying that. I don't know why I keep saying that. You know, I based it off of war roughly. Got it. Chicago White Sox, number eight. Alex Colomay, you know, some other good guys in that bullpen. Um, he's a free agent. Obviously, if they, they keep him there, they will have um, the same bullpen. And I think they had a very good one. So number eight, number seven, Minnesota Twins. You know, Trevor May, Tyler Duffy, uh, Sergio Romo had a very good year. They have some very good Taylor Rogers. Very, very good um, across the board. A lot of good names in that bullpen. They didn't perform as good as they should have, honestly, with all those names throughout their um, bullpen in the last half of some games, closing them out. But that bullpen, if it steps up and some of those guys do what they can do in 2021 and bounce back, that bullpen will be nasty and probably will break the top five and not be at number seven like I have them. Number six, we have the San Diego Padres. Um, Kirby Yates, man, losing that really, really hurt the Padres. But they still had some other guys step up and had a very good bullpen last year without him. So imagine adding him back and as the closer and the last line of defense, I guess. I feel like that will make them dominate again. That's a very, very good bullpen missing their best piece. So top six, at least for my, uh, in my opinion, for the Padres. Number five, we have these two studs, you know, right-hander, left-hander, filling out the uh, back end of this bullpen with a middle, 
Milwaukee Brewers. Josh Hader, stud lefty. Devin Williams, stud righty. One rookie of the year. That's insane. So, um, he's a rookie. Already did lights out stuff. I think he had like a .35 ERA throughout the whole season. That's insane. Um, he comes in and does the same thing or even progresses. Wow, that, that the end of that bullpen, those last two dudes are going to be insane and lights out for the Brewers next year. They will need it, but... <laughs> I think that, that bullpen's got to be at least top five just because of the top end. Jeremy Jeffries, if he comes back and some stuff like that, they will be even better. But, yeah, just that top end is insane in that bullpen. The number four with the Los Angeles Dodgers who had a very good bullpen this last year. Blake Trinan, um, Kenley Jansen, Joe Kelly, who um, kind of stepped off the last couple of years since the Dodgers signed him after he won a World Series with the Boston Red Sox. But, you know, he's still super competitive. He's still got some good pitches. Um but along with Blake Trinan, they have Bruce Dark Gratterall, you know, throwing 101 with that nasty sinker and stuff like that. They just have, if they have Julio Urias come back out of the bullpen, I think he will be a starter for the regular season at least. But they just have, they have a lot of pieces in that bullpen, a lot of good pieces. I know Blake Trinan will be a free agent. Um, they have Jake McGee there too, um, nice lefty. Just, yeah, a lot of good names, a lot of veteran guys. Um, Bruce Dark Gratterall. About the only young guy I can think of off the top of my head in their bullpen, but yeah, they have some they have some good pitchers out of that bullpen. Um, it's kind of hard for me to think about it because of the postseason. I know Alex Wood, Julio Urias, um, Tony Gonsolin, even there's some guys that come out of the bullpen that that may be starters going into next season, not coming out of the bullpen. But even without those guys, they still have just a stack of names coming out of that bullpen. Very good. Number three, we have the New York Yankees, and um, you know they have Aroldis Chapman, one of the best closers in the game. Chad Green. Another really, really good setup relief type of guy. Zach Britton and um, Tommy Canley. A lot of really good bullpen pieces. Kind of like the Twins. Kind of like the Dodgers. A lot of big names. Guys that can really come out and shut down a game. It just matters if they all bounce back. Because a couple of those names that I just named didn't pitch like they have in previous seasons. So they really need that. They just need health. And they need um, those some guys to bounce back. And they will be fine. Um, number three, I have the Tampa Bay Rays, who had a very, very good bullpen. A lot of guys that throw very hard. Um, Peter Fairbanks, Diego Castillo, uh, Jose Alvarado, a lot of really good. Um, Nick Anderson, hard-throwing dudes with some nasty pitches. This uh, bullpen could have been number one, but I just had one bullpen that edged them out just a little bit because of mainly regular season play. And, um, yeah, that's the Oakland A's. They had a stacked bullpen this year, guys. They... they um, Top of the war list, really good guys. Liam Hendricks was insane this whole year. They have um, Petit, Yusmero, Us Petit, and um, Soroka. A lot of a lot of other good guys in there too. But just like three or four guys that could be at the top of any bullpen and pitching, especially the way they did last year. They seem to stay pretty healthy. They, um, I feel like their manager used them very wisely as well. Might have helped them out a little bit. But they just had a stacked bullpen last year and they dominated. Um, the, the last half of most of the games they played. So I think, you know, it's hard for me not to give it to them going into 2021. A lot of those guys I'm pretty sure are free agents this year. I know at least Liam Hendricks is, and um, I think at least one of Petit or Soroka is as well. And so a couple of their, their you know, bigger names, veteran guys will be leaving most likely. So that will knock them down. But like I said, if everything stays the same, that's got to be one of the best bullpens in baseball. And um, I hope you guys noticed on a lot of these lists, the top three-ish and the bottom three-ish and even the middle three is they're kind of all like little groups, like an A, B, C, and um, top three in this list probably could be interchangeable. Top three in any of the others probably could be a little interchangeable. Um, maybe not every list, but some of them. So don't judge me too harshly. But either way, guys, thank you guys for watching the video. If you like and you dis or disagree, let me know. If you like and you don't disagree, you agree with me, let me know. If you just like it, if you don't like it, you know, just yell at me, whatever. Um, like subscribe please i appreciate it so much thank you guys just for watching and uh, see you next time